What is happening with Binance US and why are states revoking its license? It's a question that has been on the lips of many, especially in the world of cryptocurrency. So, let's dive in. The first part of this story takes us back to November of 2023, when the sunny state of Florida made the pioneering move to suspend Binance US's license. This decision came hot on the heels of a guilty plea from Chang Peng Zhao, the former CEO of Binance, who admitted to violating anti-money laundering laws. As we rolled into the new year, Alaska was the next to follow suit. In the chilly beginnings of January, the state declined to renew its license with Binance US. The reason? It echoed the sentiments of Florida, citing the felonious actions of Zhao as the catalyst for its decision. Fast forward to the present day, and we find ourselves in Oregon, the sixth state to join this growing list. On April 30th, the Oregon Division of Financial Regulation announced that it had revoked Binance, U.S.'s license. The decision means that Binance U.S. is now prohibited from accepting money for transmission or holding or selling fiat or crypto for Oregon consumers. But why did Oregon make this move? The answer lies in the nature of the felonies committed by Zhao. The division's statement made it clear that these transgressions were the driving force behind their decision to revoke Binance. US's money transmission license. So to summarize, six states have now revoked, suspended, or declined to renew Binance. US's license. The reasons behind their decisions all point to the guilty plea from former Binance CEO Cheng Peng Zhao. His admitted violation of anti-money laundering laws has caused a ripple effect across the country, leading to a significant backlash against Binance. US. This story is still unfolding, and the future of Binance. US hangs in the balance. But one thing is certain, the world of cryptocurrency is never dull and we'll be here to keep you updated on the latest developments. Stay tuned.